What is it about new crawlers that prevents them from assessing what's dangerous for them? That's the question that interests Karen Adolf. She understands that the world looks completely different to a baby when he's seated and when he first begins to crawl. Each new posture, from lying to sitting to crawling, brings new lessons to be learned, new obstacles to be overcome. Karen Adolf wondered if infants can apply what they learned about their abilities as sitters to the new posture of crawling. At nine months, Ethan has had a lot of experience sitting. That experience has taught him how far he can stretch across a gap before he loses his balance and falls in. When the gap gets too large for him, he refuses to reach for the toy. He is torn between his desire and his better sense. <laughs> Next, Dr. Adolf tries the same gaps, but with Ethan crawling. He is shown that there is a gap in the floor. But Ethan is a new crawler. He has no inkling what the gap means when he is crawling. He misjudges its width and depth. Things look different to him from this new and still unfamiliar posture. When faced with a gap that he would avoid as a sitter, Ethan recklessly plunges in. Although babies love to experiment, at every new posture, they have to relearn how far they can go if they're to survive their childhood. Like Ethan, Jane is also nine months. She has just learned her first lesson about the gap. And like Ethan, she's fallen into the same trap. She's put into position for a second try. But after falling in once, she cleverly looks for new alternatives. And when she can't find any, wild horses can't drag her across the gap. But why is Jane the wiser child? How do babies learn to appreciate height and depth? It seems it has 